Well, E.L. Dabby, head of equity research at Bank Lumi, joins us now. And so just take us through the reasons behind the TA25's declines over the course of the year. Hi, Mariam. Yes. Uh, actually, the Israeli equity market, uh, like the rest of the world, is looking for direction. Uh, the uncertainty is high, the volatility level is very high, and it is going to remain high unless uh, a clear direction and a clear solution uh, will come out of Europe. And uh, furthermore, uh, regarding Israel, uh, there is uh, the geopolitical uh, issue which uh, bothering the investors because uh, recently the, the risk uh, increased. Uh, as you say, there are, those are some of the risks that investors are worried about when it comes to the Israeli market, Mr. Dabi. You have the social protests in Israel and then the ongoing security threats and the geopolitical risk. So does this mean that Israeli markets have further to fall next year? Yes, that, that's exactly. I think the uh, social protest, uh, there are two local risks, the social that you mentioned, the social protest and the security threat. The social protest is looking a little bit out of focus, but the, unfortunately the security threat is, uh, has increased. And I think that the investors uh, actually uh, uh, afraid from the, the unknown. They are uh, afraid from the worst case scenario. I, I'm not sure they are, uh, know exactly uh, what is going uh, to happen, and they prefer to sit on the fence and uh, to wait for the development. So they'll prefer to sit on the fence, but nevertheless, do you see any opportunities to be found in terms of industry groups? Are any Israeli companies perhaps benefiting from attractive pricing right now? No, yes, that, that's for sure. Uh, what I've said is uh, regarding to the short term. Actually, for the uh, long term, I'm much more uh, optimistic. Uh, let me put it this way. I think there is, in the Israeli market, there is a mismatch between the uh, company's performance and the stock prices. I think the, price, the level of pricing is very comfortable, and the economy, uh, the Israeli economy, economy is uh, relatively strong. The fundamentals are good. We have a, a, a relatively high growth. We have a low unemployment. And I think the bank sector, for example, is very interesting. Uh, the food sector is interesting. The pharma sector is interesting. And even the security industry uh, is interesting uh, this time. Well, really good to get your perspective. Thanks very much, Anita A.L. Dabi, head of equity research at Bank Lumi uh, in Israel from Tel Aviv. Thank you very much.